In this video, I'm going to show you how I determine the style and rail length of a cabinet door given an overlay and a reveal amount. This is my 15 inch cabinet frame. I've got it on top of another tabletop here that I have in the basement in my shop because my work table is not flat. This table is flat. You can see that based on how these rock. In addition, my miter saw was not cutting perfectly bevel. I've since solved that problem and now have a much nicer miter saw that will cut perfectly straight up and down as well as perfect miters. This rocking I'm not too worried about because when it gets glued and screwed onto the cabinet box, it'll pull it tight and straight but doors aren't going to have that luxury so doors need to be perfectly flat so I'm using this tabletop which is perfectly flat for this I'm going to measure out how big my door needs to be this is a single door it's not overly complex single door good place to start so what my door is going to do it's gonna have an inch and a quarter overlay on each side leaving a quarter inch reveal all the way around to get this I know that this face frame is 15 inches wide with a quarter of an inch overlay I need to take 15 inches minus a quarter of an inch times two coming out to 14 and a half inches that's how wide my door has to be the rail for the door will be smaller it's determined by how far the tongue will go into the style when the styles and rails are routed and usually it's about a quarter inch tongue essentially you would add say a quarter inch onto the inside dimensions of yeah first thing we need to do is rough cut some of these pieces I'm going to use two and a quarter inch door frame for my rails and styles I'm just going to rough cut them I can finish cut them as I go along a rough cut is going to leave me with about 23 and three quarter this way right now I'm going to cut some door styles this is a two and a quarter inch board it's machined three quarter inch thick it is squared on one end now what I need to do is I need 23 and three quarters so essentially all my door styles will be roughly 23 and three quarter that's a good measurement to remember the side over here on the left is a perfectly square corner that's still a rough corner so I'm going to measure off the left side knowing that that's a good edge if I mark 23 and a quarter here or sorry 23 and three quarter boy it's going to catch me one of these times and just know I know that that's how far it needs to go so if I add another 23 inches on that's 46 and three quarter if I add another three quarter onto that I'm going to get 47 and a half those are just rough cuts let me cut those up right quick and see my styles for my door are basically going to the bottom of my drawer opening to almost to the bottom of my face frame. That gives me enough to trim it down for simplisticness. I'm going to move them out to the edge of the face frame. Now, I could simply measure the inside of this, and that's going to be 10 and a half inches. That would assume that my router bit is going to put a quarter of an inch gap in here so that when I slide this over a quarter of an inch, the panel will go right into there. So there's a quarter of an inch slid over. Before I said 10 and a half, and now we're about nine and 15 sixteenths. So I, I didn't quite slide them over a quarter of an inch, but I look at my, my jig here for my router bit. The way these are gonna be cut is just like that. So the rail needs to be long enough to fill that groove. I'm gonna measure this from the flat side here. That is, if I assume it's a, a quarter inch, well, as you can see, it's not a quarter of an inch, it's three eighths of an inch. Sliding those in a quarter of an inch will actually not be enough and then it'll cause the panel to be a little sloppy. What that means, if I take this and I just, for simplisticness, draw this line right here. It does a 3 8 in and a 3 8 in. And I'm cutting these kind of loose so that I can dial them in to the correct amount as I get closer to it. And now if I measure between the two, 11 and a quarter. So the frame is 15 inches. Between here is 11 and a quarter. So if I subtract those two, I come up with the distance between here. So the distance between here is three and three quarter. So as long as I go bigger than 11 and a quarter, I should be fine. So if I cut these at 12 just for rough cut, that would be fine. Rough cut, we're just gonna say is 15 minus three will equal my 12. So as long as I take my frame width from now on and rough cut them by three, I'll have plenty of discard for when I actually final cut them. So now I'm gonna cut two more for the rails that are 12 inches wide. 
Got my rough cut pieces that are, as you can see, definitely bigger. Even if I were to profile cut these right now, like that, the tongue would easily stick out on both sides because they're just, they're rough cut. Now we're gonna start cleaning these up and getting these final cut to a, a good area because I'm only gonna do this one door. If you're doing all of them, what you'd wanna do is make sure you number your pieces. If you're going to make a bunch of these all at once, number them. What I would do if I was making a whole bunch of these, I'd rough cut them, label them, and just set them aside and continue on with the entire process. If you want to skip the you're rough cutting these and you want to get down to the nitty gritty of everything, the formula for the door for figuring out the styles are pretty easy. It's basically the door opening plus two times the overlay. The rail length here is going to be the width of the door minus two times the style width plus two times the tongue length. So three eighths plus three eighths is three quarter. I have to take the width of the door minus two times the width of these, which these are two and a quarter, but four and a half plus three quarter. I'm gonna write out the formula here. Rails equal door width minus two times style width plus two times tongue. So in the case of me, my door width is going to be the opening which is 12 inches plus an inch and a quarter times two so I have 12 plus two times one and a quarter equals my door width so basically that will be 12 plus two and a half equals 14 and a half. Plugging in my formula up here my rails equal 14 and a half minus two times my style width my style width is two and a quarter plus two times my tongue length, which is three eighths. 14 and a half minus four and a half plus three quarter. And we'll just keep reducing it down. So 14 and a half minus four and a half is gonna be 10 plus three quarter equals 10 and three quarter. That's how long these need to be. And that includes the three eighths tongue that will go inside the style. So this is the formula for a single door cabinet. So these need to be 10 and three quarter. That will account for tongue. That will go into the groove on these styles once they're machined down on the router. If I've got an inch and a quarter overlay on the left side, an inch and a quarter overlay on the right side, I wanna do an inch and a quarter overlay on the bottom and an inch and a quarter overlay on top as well. I initially said, I'm just gonna make a rough cut it at 23 and a three quarter, but I need to basically go the inside of the door hole opening plus an inch and a quarter times two, which is my overlay. And these are for full overlay. For half overlay or inset, you have to do different formulas. My opening is 20 and 13 sixteenths. I might just round down to 20 and three quarter and that extra little sixteenth of an inch rides down here or rides up there. As long as it's uniform, you really won't notice. I'll write down that number for now, but I may just round it down to 20 and three quarter and then I might just have a 5 sixteenth reveal here towards the bottom or I might put that little gap up there at the top for my drawer. Luck would have it, I went and measured all my, my base cabinet frames the ones that have a drawer going in front of them and all of them are 20 and 13 sixteenths i wish i kind of would have caught that earlier on i would have squeezed it down just a little bit one way or the other to make a good even number but in this case we'll just go with it now i decide either i need to go 20 and three quarter or actually do the math on that 13 sixteenths so what i've done is i penciled marked some little marks here on my frame that represents the inch and a quarter overlays i want to have six inch drawer panels and I want that to just barely come down below that to catch the frame because that will give me a quarter inch at the top and then it'll give me an eighth inch here but the problem is with an inch and a quarter overlay at the top for my drawer panel my door panel it's only going to leave me about an eighth of an inch between my drawer and my door so to make things a little more complex I'm going to scooch I'm going to move this down about an eighth of an inch so I get a quarter inch reveal between my drawer and my door. That will actually reduce my overlay amount, which what I think I will do is either I will take and rewrite my door style formula so that it is, and it's entirely up to you, however you, you what you want, but for me, I want a quarter inch here, quarter inch between the two. So I'm gonna have to make these a little bit shorter on the overlay at the top, which isn't a problem. It's a overlay panel. What I'm going to do is knock off an eighth of an inch. Instead of 20 and 13 sixteenths, I need to go with 20 and 11 sixteenths for my door height. That will get quarter inch reveal here, quarter inch reveal there, and then 
the styles are based on the formula right there, which for this particular frame is 10 and 3 quarter, and that'll get a quarter inch reveal here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go 20 and 11 16 for my style height. So I've taken it down to 23 and 3 16. It fits more between my lines, it gives me the reveal I need. I got a you know, quarter of an inch there. I've got my quarter inch reveal there. Definitely going to go with 23 and 3 16 for the styles. And check to see if my stop block that I've fit is good is by feeling here your fingers can feel better than your eyes can see so this is you know nice and smooth here and then down here it's nice and smooth here so essentially the door styles now will all be the same we'll get uh, cutting these out pretty fast now Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.